The CBS3 Duluth Weathermax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. Twin low pressure systems with fronts interconnecting the two indeed feasted on the warm moist air here today and created a bit of havoc here in northwestern Wisconsin in the past four hours. And there's still a threat for some parts of Wisconsin looking at a tornado watch in effect until midnight for these counties marked in the yellow, including a good slice of the upper peninsula as well. On the luckier side here, much of our viewing area has faded away from the tornado watch, but we still have some trouble because towards the butternut melon area around eight o'clock clock tonight an inch of rain fell there and so now we have a couple of other advisories to talk about we're looking at a flood advisory in green and a flood warning in red for parts of Ashland Iron Sawyer and Price counties that's in effect until at least 11:45 tonight so you could run into some flooded roadways travel cautiously if you have to make an overnight run hopefully by tomorrow morning everything eases up around the region and we get a bit of a break you know by tomorrow afternoon the sun may come back again Maybe not forever, but uh, it'll give us a couple hours worth of a break. And we'll get a break then because, you know, actually towards the butternut area, melon area earlier this evening, they had a tornado warning going on for about a half hour. Haven't heard any reports of damage. Hopefully everybody made it okay. Right now at the airport, it's 60 degrees, relative humidity 80%. West wind 3 miles per hour, so westerly winds at 3. Very gentle compared to what a twister can do. Air pressure's pretty low at 29.51 inches of mercury or 999 millibars bars. All right, let's get into the Doppler right now because we're still looking at that line of storms that I mentioned is stretching from Omaha, Nebraska up through the Keweenaw Peninsula here and we're still seeing a line of it bubbling through parts of northwestern Wisconsin and the UP as well and there's some redevelopment behind this cold front that's causing all of this that could bring another round of showers and storms to International Falls or Crane Lake, Bike, Ely, Winton, places like that as the night goes on. Maybe even Silver Bay, Isabella and Grand Marais Grand Portage too. So we're not out from under the gun yet. Keep an eye to the sky and an ear to CBS3 and we'll, we'll help guide you through and track these storms until they finally pass away. And like I mentioned, hopefully these two low pressure systems pass away tomorrow. Higher pressure will build in for a little while. And I think we'll have some sunshine by Wednesday afternoon and it may stay dry and reasonably sunny through Thursday morning. But as early as Thursday evening, yeah, another round of rain could come around that could stick with us through Friday morning. The weekend coming up ahead, folks, in the mountains here towards Idaho, Montana, they're expecting a record-breaking snowstorm. I don't think that's going to come our way. It'll turn into rain by the time it gets into the plains, but that rain could affect our weather by Monday, and we'll show you that with the seven-day forecast. Here we go tonight in Minnesota, low temps, 40s to about 52. 40% chance for more showers and storms. Folks in Wisconsin and the UP have that 40% chance as well till sunrise tomorrow with low temps there in the lower 50s. For tomorrow, cooler air behind the cold front means a high temp Wisconsin-Michigan wise of only 58 to 64. Morning showers possible, but then clearing in the afternoon. Folks in Minnesota get that as well with their high temps inland probably in the low 60s. Now here's the extended forecast. Wednesday, partly cloudy in the afternoon. Thursday afternoon and evening, rain returns. Should go away Friday morning, then Friday afternoon into Saturday. Sunny, but only in the 50s. Uh, split your difference. I guess it won't be too bad. A little bit of sunshine, a little bit of 50s. We can tolerate that. Then come Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, the rain comes in. Probably the remnants of that big snowstorm towards Montana. We get rain. They get snow a little too early for us to think about it yeah. yet, but you know it's probably going to come eventually. They can have the snow for yeah. now. <laughs> Thanks, Dave.